Good morning. Today we're going to look at how to geocode a data set in Excel and then upload that data set into a copy, of, a copy of map site online. First thing we need to do is to grab the address data that we're going to look to geocode. Hit geocode and this instance it's already selected all the correct components to start to geocode. So literally hit geocode and the map site geocoder will start to geocode the data as you can see. And once the geocoded data is finished, which we're just about to get there now, what we do is we save this as a CSV file, and then we can upload it into MapSite Online. Before doing that, what we'll do is we'll just double check and we'll add the data to a map so we can actually have a quick look at what it's gonna look like. And there we go, there's the data. So let's save this as a CSV and upload it to MapSite Online. Which is test data. We add the data layer. It's identified latitude and longitudes. And then all we need to do now is select the viewable values. and add them as drop downs or check boxes. Add a numeric field for heat field and then give it a name. And here we have the test data is in. So just to test the test data, we'll click that and there we have the buttons or pins rather. We can click a pin and we have our data coming up on the pin. Uh, what we can now do is if we don't want the pins, we can add a heat map. So test data, display heat map. And there we go. And as I zoom in on my heat map, the heat map will change as I zoom in. I can change my intensity and opacity. So we're in full control of that heat map. What I'm also able to do is I'm also able to add what we call choropleth, which is a shape file. So for example, if we select test, postcodes, click shape, this will now just run and we'll add shape files as we can see. If we just drop out of the heat map, we can actually now see that what we've done is we've actually added a choropleth layer, which is essentially, um, uh, in this case, a, a postal code sub, a postal code regions. And I can change that to different colors. Okay. What I'm also able to do, if I want to, I can draw around an area if I select my draw tool, there we go. I can now export that data straight back into Excel. And that's it, how to use MapSite Excel and then loading the data directly into MapSite Online.